This is Jetty with J and J True Outdoor Adventures. This is one of my ham radio projects, and this is some parts I got from Bama Tech for this QCX CW transceiver. And you'll see in these pictures, you see where I've marked where I need to put uh, this hole that I need to drill. Here I've taped off so I don't mess up the finish, and I drill the hole for the uh, button that I want to use for the S1 switch to uh, send CW. And there you can see the S1 switch right there underneath the hole. And I wanted this all to look alike so I had Bama Tech send me uh, the same sleeve and plastic button and nut. They actually sent me two of them but uh, these are the three that will be on the QCX enclosure. Uh, I had to modify the sleeve and the plastic uh, pump, uh, plunger, as you can see in this picture here, uh, I had to make them shorter and take the little nub off the button. And here they're installed. Uh, they're already uh, on the uh, enclosure. Uh, here you can see the height difference uh, in the picture. And then here's the completed project. And I mean, it looks factory because it's Bama Tech parts. And it does work, as you've seen in the beginning of the video. Here you see it on the side. It sticks up just a little bit. Also, you see my tilt base that I put on it. And then here, I'm taking measurements. Everybody had asked me about the measurements. So, in these still photos, you see the measurements. There's the, uh, I've already labeled it as key. And you see the S1 switch. And here I'm measuring, and uh, it's... Uh, 0.6, I can't remember the measurement, but you'll see it in the writing whenever we get to the end of the video. But I was trying to get to the, the center of where the, uh, the punch hole needs to be put. And that was the, uh, the sleeve or the collar, I think as they call it, and the plastic uh, button after it's been cut down. And uh, this was just a view of where the location of the S1 switch is. And again, with the stuff enclosed, you can see there's not much threads left to put that nut on. And then there's the, uh, the button installed. All three buttons. Of course, the two other buttons are for the, the little micro switches for your menu. And then there's the measurements wrote down for anybody who wants to reproduce this uh, modification. Okay, here I am with the modifications that I did to uh, my QC, uh, QCX enclosure. I put a button here, ordered that from Bama Tech, told them about what I wanted to do. Uh, so if you forgot your key, your paddles, you can still You can still see in code up to my 40 meter uh, in fed wire hooked up to a 12 volt battery external speakers but this was the mod 